Welcome everyone to our exciting video on third generation sequencing. In this journey, we'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of long read sequencing technologies that are pushing the boundaries of genomics and clinical diagnostics. Together, we'll uncover the fundamental concepts of third generation sequencing, explore its working principles, its diverse applications in clinical diagnostics, the unique characteristics and advantages that set it apart. We will be focusing on single molecule real time or smart sequencing first. So let's jump right in. When we talk about third generation sequencing, it's also known as long read sequencing. It refers to a group of DNA sequencing technologies that can generate much longer reads than earlier generation technologies. Unlike first and second generation sequencing methods, as we already learned from our previous videos that they rely on PCR amplification and generate shorter reads, third generation sequencing typically involves single molecule sequencing without the need for amplification. This allows for the generation of longer, continuous DNA sequences which can span complex and repetitive genomic regions, thus enabling more accurate and comprehensive genome assemblies transcriptome analyses, and structural variation detection. Later on, we will discuss the remarkable benefits that third generation sequencing brings to the world of clinical diagnostics. For instance, when diagnosing rare diseases, this advanced technology allows for more accurate detection of genetic variations, such as structural variations and repetitive sequences, ultimately enhancing diagnostic accuracy. Another compelling example lies in cancer genomics research. By utilizing this method, researchers can better comprehensively analyze complex variations within tumor tissues, paving the way for the discovery of new therapeutic targets. In a nutshell, third generation sequencing elevates clinical diagnostics by offering greater accuracy and in depth genomic analysis holding great promise for improving patient diagnosis and treatment. Now, fellow learners, we're going to unravel the intriguing testing principle behind third generation sequencing. Third generation sequencing directly sequences single DNA or RNA molecules without prior amplification. This is achieved by monitoring the incorporation of nucleotides in real time as the DNA or RNA molecule passes through a nanopore or a protein complex. As a result, this cutting edge approach allows for much longer read lengths, reduces errors due to amplification biases, and enables the detection of complex genetic variations. Third generation sequencing can be broadly classified into two major technologies, single molecule real-time sequencing or smart sequencing and nanopore sequencing. In this video, we will discuss single molecule real time sequencing. Here's a brief explanation of the principles behind smart sequencing methods. The single molecule real time sequencing technology is based on the real time observation of DNA synthesis by DNA polymerase. First, obtain the desired DNA fragments through PCR amplification or other methods. The DNA is sheared into smaller fragments, typically ranging from a few kilobases to tens of kilobases in length. These DNA fragments are further processed to create a library with specific hairpin adapters called smart bell adapters. To achieve this, connect the adapters to the 5' and 3' ends of the target DNA molecule through pairing using a method called ligation, wherein a ligase enzyme connects the adapter to the DNA molecule. Lastly, purify the connected DNA molecules to obtain circular DNA templates with smart bell adapters. Before the sequencing process begins, a sequencing primer complementary to a specific sequence on the smart bell adapter is annealed to the DNA fragment. A DNA polymerase enzyme is then bound to the primer annealed template, forming a polymerase template complex. You may have the following questions. Why we need to use this special hairpin structure of the Smart Bell adapter in PacBio smart sequencing? It's because they can convert double stranded linear DNA into a circular structure. 
The advantage of the circular structure is that it allows the DNA polymerase to continuously perform multiple rounds of synchronous sequencing during the sequencing process. In other words, when the DNA polymerase completes the sequencing of one circular DNA molecule, it can immediately start the next round without disengaging from the sequencing reaction. This continuous sequencing process significantly improves the accuracy and reliability of the sequencing data while also reducing the occurrence of sequencing errors. Therefore, high precision and high reliable sequencing data can be achieved. Okay, let's go back to the process explanation. Next, the prepared polymerase template complexes are then loaded onto a smart cell containing thousands to millions of zero-mode waveguides, or ZMWs. Now let's pause here and let me explain what ZMWs are and the reason they are needed, since it is the most important and signature component in smart sequencing. Zero-mode waveguides are nanostructures designed to create an extremely small observation volume, allowing for the confinement and manipulation of light at sub-wavelength scales. It consists of a small aperture, typically a nanoscale hole or a metallic cladding structure. Light cannot propagate due to its small size. However, light can still penetrate a short distance into the waveguide, creating an evanescent field. This phenomenon is called a zero mode because the light effectively has zero propagation modes in the waveguide. The result is an incredibly small detection volume, usually on the order of a few tens of zeptoliters. ZMWs enable researchers to detect single molecules with high signal to noise ratios as the small detection volume drastically reduces background fluorescence, making it more accurate. ZMWs are designed to be small enough to allow only a single polymerase template complex to bind with it. During the sequencing process, each of the four DNA nucleotides, A, T, C, and G, is labeled with a unique fluorescent dye. The polymerase template complexes are provided with a mixture of these fluorescently labeled nucleotides. As the polymerase enzyme incorporates each nucleotide into the growing DNA strand within the ZMW, the fluorescent signal of the corresponding nucleotide is detected. The ZMWs confine the excitation energy, allowing for real-time detection of the fluorescent signals. The signals are captured by a highly sensitive camera and are processed to generate a series of fluorescent intensity traces, which are then converted into a DNA sequence. Data processing and smart sequencing involve several steps. Converting raw fluorescent signals into base calls, filtering and assessing read quality, aligning reads to a reference genome or de novo assembly, identifying and annotating genomic variants, assembling contigs or generating consensus sequences, performing functional and comparative analyses, and visualizing and interpreting the data. These steps transform raw sequencing data into meaningful biological information, providing insights into genomic variation, gene function, and evolutionary relationships among species or individuals. Specific protocols and tools may vary based on the research question and available resources. This method has been used in various clinical applications, including the identification of disease-causing genetic mutations, studying complex genomic regions, and detecting structural variations. One specific example of a clinical diagnosis made using PacBio smart sequencing is the identification of pathogenic repeat expansions in neurological disorders, such as Fragile X syndrome and amyotropic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Fragile X syndrome, or FXS, is the most common cause of inherited intellectual disability and autism spectrum disorders. It results from the expansion of a CGG trinucleotide repeat in the 5' untranslated region of the fMR1 gene. Healthy individuals have 5 to 44 CGG repeats, whereas individuals with FXS have over 200 repeats. 
The expansion of these repeats leads to the silencing of the fMR1 gene and results in the absence or reduction of the fMR1 protein, which plays a critical role in brain development. PacBio smart sequencing can accurately determine the size and sequence context of the expanded CGG repletes in the fMR1 gene by generating long read sequencing data that spans the entire repeat region helping to diagnose FXS. This method offers several advantages over traditional methods like PCR and southern blotting, such as increased resolution, the ability to detect interruptions in the repeat sequence, and direct determination of repeat numbers. Similarly, PacBio smart sequencing has also been used to study repeat expansions in the C9ORF72 gene associated with ALS also known as low Gehrig's disease. The hexanucleotide repeat expansion, GGGCC, in the C9ORF72 gene is the most common genetic cause of ALS and frontotemporal dementia. Smart sequencing can provide accurate sizing and interruption analysis of the repeat expansions, facilitating the diagnosis and understanding of these devastating neurological disorders. In summary, PacBio smart sequencing has been instrumental in the clinical diagnosis of repeat expansion related neurological disorders such as Fragile X syndrome and ALS. The technology allows for accurate determination of repeat size and sequence context, providing valuable information for both diagnoses and research into the molecular mechanisms underlying these conditions. At this time, you may ask, can the first generation and next generation sequencing be used to diagnose this repeat expansion related disease? Although the first and next generation sequencing can be used to diagnose repeat expansion related disorders like Fragile X syndrome and ALS, but there are limitations to these methods in comparison to long read sequencing technologies. Sanger sequencing can be used to analyze short repeat expansions. However, this method is limited in its ability to accurately size large repeat expansions typically found in Fragile X syndrome and ALS. Moreover, the labor-intensive nature of Sanger sequencing and its low throughput make it less suitable for large-scale diagnostic applications. NGS Technologies has the advantage of high throughput and cost-effectiveness However, NGS generates short reads, which make it difficult to accurately characterize long repeat expansions. Although there are bioinformatic tools and specialized protocols to overcome these challenges, the short read nature of NGS can lead to inaccuracies or ambiguities in determining the precise size of the expanded repeats, particularly in the presence of interruptions or sequence variations within the repeats. Smart sequencing technology was developed by Pacific Biosciences or PacBio. Over the years, PacBio has released several sequencing platforms that utilize smart technology. First is PacBio RS in 2011 and PacBio RS2 in 2013. Second is PacBio SQL in 2015. Third is PacBio SQL 2 in 2019. In conclusion, Smart sequencing revolutionizes genomics with its long read capabilities, overcoming short read limitations and enabling discoveries in fields like cancer research, microbiology, and plant biology. Continuous advancements in this technology promises a deeper understanding of complex genetics and novel therapeutic interventions in the future. Thank you for watching.